travellers, I'm Anne's daughter Laliko. So I thought I would put together this video of what I'm planning to add to my carry-on when I do fly out next because this this outbreak is not going away so it's better to be prepared. I'm gonna walk through all of the parts that I have thought of to add. If you've got any more please leave them in the comments below or anything that I've overlooked. Any flight that I do is going to be long haul. Adding to my toiletries bag, I've decanted some hand sanitizer. I have a big pump bottle so it's under the 100 mils. Currently on long haul this does live in my handbag which lives under the seat in front of me. It'll work out and yeah, with all the rest of my regular toiletries that I do carry in my carry you're interested to know what's inside this is just the fossil sydney satchel i've had it for years i have got a video of what i usually carry inside and that hasn't changed this is just additional things but i'll link that video in the description box below so now despite the fact that i've been yeah i've been wiping down tray tables and all sorts for a while now anyway on board like before all of this happened and I actually just bought the bigger one. I have the small travel to go one but I've used this before and I don't know how this is a pack of nine. As I said I've got a fly long haul and I know I've, I've already opened this so I don't know how many are still in it. So my thought was and this just goes in my carry-on bag here. I won't be going the same route that I did to get here because those flights don't exist anymore so I decided to buy a big one and I will put this in my checked bag and I will take out a few and put them in a ziplock bag that's my thought at the moment and then ideally use these first because these are already sealed just wiping down my seat and know that the airlines have up to their cleaning theory there should be less people on board so it might be fine but this is just what I'm doing and as I say it's it, I would have I would have done the wiping down anyway you saw in the thumbnail that I have the face shield I'm tossing up whether to get another one or not I've not worn the face shield in my everyday life so I don't know how comfortable uncomfortable it is and because it's a long haul yeah what I leave home looking like 10 hours in will not be how I look. <laughs> at the moment at Kuwait airport they have no wheelie carry-ons and that's an airport rule. It's got nothing to do with the airlines. So I'm forced this time to use my backpack as a carry-on which I'm irritated because my laptop is very cheap. Anyway, in my backpack I have these masks. I put these on Telebat and I do have a video of how easy it is to order uh, with Telebat in the Middle East. My thought is to change them out as the flight goes. You know, obviously in between eating, there should be at least a couple of meals, possibly plus a snack. So during those times, yeah, instead of just hanging the mask off one ear, I will take it off and get out an entirely new one when I finish. The same when I want to go to the bathroom, brush my teeth. I usually do a sheet mask, so again, that's probably a time where I will change out. So in addition to that, I also bought some of the surgical masks. I only have five of them because I'm like, between these two, I think that's enough. <laughs> and it's probably really excessive. I have an extra bag which I will use. These I don't know, do they have like two lives in them? Three three wears in them? So I will save them for another time. So I'll put these and used ones into so that then when I do get home then I can air them out and they can still be good for another use. I haven't found anywhere on Telebat where they sell the reusable masks. These are just the ones that are available so that's why I bought them. I'm carrying a scarf with me. No, the blankets don't get washed always and I don't know what the new system is like so to avoid any bother I'm taking my own this is just from H&M and it's just wide enough it is actually a scarf but it is long and big enough to be a blanket so I'm carrying that also the airline should give you something some sort of pack the contents seem to vary with airlines so I that's nice that I'll get some extras and I don't know how many masks or anything that you get in them. Make sure that you check 
the destination of your transiting and your arrival place if you need to get a COVID test. I'll be going home to New Zealand, so I don't need one for some reason. I mean, they will test me when I get there. I hope that I can book a route that does not require me to get one because they're really quite expensive here. I'm still of the New Zealand mindset where everything's free, so I'm like, oh, what does it cost? But I believe Emirates requires you to have one um, even transiting through Dubai, so that is definitely something to bear in mind for planning your next trip. Like, there still are, at this point, there's still airlines that don't require you to have it, and, but then at the same time, I'm sitting here going, oh, should I have gone for a test today instead of recording this video? <laughs> to have peace of mind that I don't have it. It's actually finding it really difficult even just to plot a route home because of the lack of flights and different countries because I have to transit somewhere. There's nothing remotely direct. Different countries are changing stuff up all the time so it's actually a lot of work to try to figure it out and piece it together and then be able to go, right, what do I need to do? Are you allowed to transit? Like America for example, they, if you've been in the Schengen plus UK for the last 14 days, that's going to be problematic. So there's so many bits and pieces to put together but I also do have one pair of gloves. I'm not big on the gloves and that's because it's really hot here and so it gets beyond disgusting under the gloves but I believe I do need to wear the gloves through the airport here and that's okay that's what I'll do but then after that I'm gonna be on the hand washing and bathrooms and hand sanitizer that I have with me hopefully everything goes well and yeah good luck with your flight if you think I should get more of these I mean they're super light and just flimsy plastic please let me know because that I actually don't have an answer for that if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing as I post new videos every week giving tips and strategies that may help enhance your travel experiences Can I just say the good thing about masks that I've never ever thought of <laughs> is that I'm sure when I sleep my mouth does drop open at some point <laughs> so this will be good having the mask on the whole flight because then when anybody walks past it won't be the <laughs> like whatever I look like <laughs>